So one of the biggest mistakes that, that I come across when, when in front of clients and the potential clients is they struggle to have, have defined their target market. I mean, some people, which always takes me by surprise, are, are, are still marketing B2B is the limit of their segmentation or B2C or not doing that sort of well because if you get that bit right, you understand your target audience really well. Marketing's not that complicated. You yeah. serve them information that they need yeah, because you've done that bit and that's a massive bit. That's a massive problem I see that and it harps back to the, the not having a strategy bit because segmentation and defining your target audience is one of the most important parts of the strategy. Yeah, I think you know, I mean God, there are I think there are many big mistakes that, yeah. that business owners make. Uh, I think I've pretty much made most of them myself. Um yeah. We should do a whole session on, on our, yeah. on our we should do a whole session on our, on our biggest screw up. Yeah. It would be, um, it would be a long fail. one. Hashtag fail. Yeah, yeah. yeah, set yourself some time and time for that. But <laughs> I think you're right. I think you know things like not charging enough. I think yeah. things like you know, going for the wrong people. I think things like spending time on the wrong things. And lots of people will say, oh yeah, I just I, you know, in the early days I spent some time on the wrong things. But every one of these things harps back to one single point of screw upery is the fact that they don't have a clear picture of what they're doing and why. Yeah. And I think this is the this is one of the you know the biggest things, you know, and again, sort of taking it back actually, part of it is, you know, what is their reason for running a business and it, it almost always has to be something other than the business. I'm doing what I do solely for achieving a lifestyle for Amy and the boys. And that and again it's slightly kind of in theory off topic, but actually it's bang on topic because we've got because I've got this really clear outcome, yep. the only way I can do that is to have a plan that works towards that point. Yeah, and as part of that plan, there is the time I want to work, there is the hours I want to put in, there is the money I want to earn out of it, and it's only when you go through these things that well, okay, the only way I can achieve that is to have a plan that d that delivers towards that thing there. So actually, kind of procrastination is a symptom of not having a clear, painful enough plan or painful, you know, whatever's going to go wrong. Your failure is too painful. That's why procrastination comes in because you you know if your plan. I mean, not all the time, but you know what I mean. You know, if your plan is not serious enough, big enough, painful enough, if you fail, then you'll procrastinate. Yeah. You know, if you find yourself, you know, scrabbling around for cash, and I get it, we've all been there, that's a symptom of not having a clear picture of who you want to target and then what you need to do about it. And I think... Sorry, man. That's 100% yeah. it. I, I think... That, that lack of clarity, right, that lack of clarity creates the worst thing in business for people who run their own business, and that's peaks and troughs. Yes. Yeah, peaks yeah, and yeah. troughs of happiness, peaks yeah. and troughs of income, yeah. peaks and troughs of, of workload, whatever it is that, that you're worried about in your business, whether you want more time, whether you want better outcome, whether you want better client, the peaks and troughy stuff yeah. of it is, is where we become unhappy and entrepreneurship running a business is a bit peak and trophy. yeah but without clarity of why you're doing what you're doing of of how you're going to achieve that do you know what's that look like in the business sense yeah. but financially how what people do you need what markets you need to do to get that kind of revenue in mm -hmm. if you don't have that compass that that thing that guides that the peaks and troughs will be more yeah violent or if that's the right way. yeah yeah no i think it is i think <laughs> because i think it you know one of the biggest where we're, we're, we're sort of tim and i tend to get called in a lot is where people if we're honest they want to earn more money that is normally kind of the, the big symptom that right, is it's there but I, I i genuinely think earning more money is one of the most difficult things to do because it's not a real physical touchable tangible thing you know people kind of go oh shit, i need to, you know i've got to earn some more cash you know and and, and that's a symptom of it, but you can't just earn more cash. You can only do things that will earn more cash. Does that make sense? If I, yeah, actually, yeah. You know, and this is where this is where this is where God, you know we say it a lot, but this is where you you have to have this plan because people are waiting and think, shit, I need more cash. And actually, that's really hard because you have to. It's not a real thing. It's not a thing you can touch. You can't just do it. You can only do the stuff. Whereas actually, when you have that plan, you think, well, okay, I'm making it up now. Every time I sit down with ten people. Five people. This is why I get myself in trouble because I'm not very good with numbers. <laughs> Every time I sit down with ten people, you know, 
five people, if five of those conversations are useful and one person buys, if I need to sell, oh, I can't do that, 100 things <laughs> across the year, because I need to earn, you know, 100,000 pounds and you sell 100 things at 1,000 pounds, I can then work it back and think, well, okay, I need to have, I can't do the math, oh, forgive me, 500 conversations. Just, yeah, but pretend I can do the math, but don't. But, Having 500 conversations is a real, tangible, touchable thing. So I actually think, well, okay, how does that come? Well, I'll go networking, because I know at some networking I get three conversations. And you just work it back, and you just work it back, and you just work it back. So actually, you're not waking up thinking, oh, God, I've got to make some money. You're thinking, right, what do I need to do today to make contact with three brand new accountants? Boom. Now, that's dead easy, because if your life depends on that, because you know that every, every 10 accountants you talk to, five are decent conversations, one makes you a thousand pounds. If you need to earn, I can't do the math again. If you need to earn whatever you need to earn, th- th- that's what you're doing. And that's, that's why you have your plan. And that's why you have you know, your bits above the plan. Because actually, Paul, I don't just want to hit the phone. So actually every month I'm going to send 20 accountants this box, this letter, this thing, this email, this video. And I, you know, from those 20, normally 10 get to a meeting. Da, 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 da. So actually there is no more wake up and panic of, I've got to earn some more money. No, no, I've just got to do 20 of these boxes. So you even hand it to a, you know, to a minion or to your, your, your support staff and say, you know, look, please can you go and find me 20 accountants. Go and Google 20 accountants that are like this, 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 and this. Send me this box, send them this email, and then tell me who's owned it because I'm going to pick up the phone to them. And then you've got that plan. That's it. That's it. I think, definitely, I, I think money is a result of doing other stuff well. Yeah. Right? It just is. And and I did a very similar thing to Paul ju- just explained like back end of last year. Uh, I focused on on what what it's called proactive metrics, right? Because we as marketers, it, us included, hi, um, can measure a lot of stuff yes. and a lot of stuff we that doesn't it. matter and a lot of <laughs> stuff that we're not in control of. Impression, reaching, clicks are are massive marketing metrics that people look at. But none of those are are things that we're in control of. So having an element, having the the clarity and and the the plan that sets out a proactive metrics, measuring something we're in control of is really important. So my proactive metric is conversation started. Because exactly as Paul said, I know the more people I talk to and answer their questions and get to understand those people, my business moves forward. That's, that's helped me with my plan and growth and clarity yeah. and it, it's reduced the amount of content I've done but has increased the effectiveness of the content yeah. I've done. My audiences haven't decreased anywhere. I've got more, more friends and followers and reach and impressions than I ever have without focusing on that stuff yeah, yeah. because I know I need to talk to these sort of people. Yeah. And, and I think you'd actually it actually helps to fix one of the most challenging things as business owners, which is the stress and the frustration and the, I forget, I can't think what the word is, the the ability that you can't change what's happening to you. The world's kind of happening to you, forgive me, I can't think what the the word is. And that's, that's just that's kind of soul destroying and it's head crunching and you end up in this kind of this dark place where you feel like you know the, the kind of the futility of it you don't know what to do about it because you've got this pressure I've got to earn I've got to earn and you're focusing on that whereas actually if you've got a proper plan and you've worked it all back and you look at it and think, well actually I need the only thing I need to do today is go and find 10 new accountants well do you know what if your life depends on it you'll go on Google if your life depends on it you'll walk down your high street you'll ask your mates you know that is a a thing that you can measure that is a thing that you can take real action on and it just i mean god for, for someone that's done it it helps so much with that stress it helps so much with the productivity and it gives you that complete and utter focus and you know my old boss used to say this he was a sort of smart guy you know concentrated effort is better than effort you know yeah. all that effort you put on making money you can't because it's not a real thing but you can put real effort into go and find these 10 people and do these things to it because once you've done it once you know what works. So actually next month, well, okay, I'm going to do 10 of those things as I did last month because history, facts prove to me that of those 10 things that are going to happen, two are going to do this. Brilliant. So that's happening and I'll do something else. So next month, I've got this thing happening to these people. So actually I've now got two different marketing campaigns, two different pillars 
that are driving in there and it just helps with that kind of that feeling of kind of crushingness and you know and it gives you a proper focus but you've got to have the plan to do it you've got to have the plan to do it i i, I think hit the nail on the head there if i'm honest that, that, that having that clarity that that clearness of thought especially when it comes to marketing with all the stuff you could possibly do in yeah. the world of marketing simplifying it to the like the one thing right yes. which is an amazing book yeah not well to go down this read yeah, yeah, yeah but but using that ethos right of having the mother what's the one thing i need to do today that will move me forward to this goal right yeah. what's that one thing do i have to make five cold calls do i have to do a facebook live video yeah. do i have to write a blog on this topic because people keep asking me and i haven't got any content that answers it and it, it instructs your marketing because if, you, if, if it is for you that you are someone that needs to go and speak to 10 accountants, well, let's go and find where they hang out. They'll have a, they'll have a conference, they'll have a thing, they'll be franchised. You know, it, it informs your actions. So you're not doing that, God, I just need to stuff it. Well, okay, da, da, da. And, you know, well, I can either go and make five phone calls to, to five people or I can go and find you know, the National Accountants Conference or I can go and speak to someone that supplies accountants with things. You know, it, it, it just gives you steps to follow. But without that plan, you just end up in that, where the hell do I go? That's it. 